friends. This is your host to welcome you through the creaking door into the inner sanctum. For another gay half hour of mystery, mayhem, and of course, murder. Well, friends, we don't have a very interesting studio audience tonight. Just the usual ghouls, ghosts, vampires, and werewolves. <laughs> Of course, there is one fellow who came here without his head. He says he left it home because he didn't want to lose it. And then there's a girl named Myrtle who just asked me to autograph her death certificate. Yeah, just the same old bunch. But maybe next week we'll have somebody really unusual. <laughs> Tonight's Inner Sanctum Mystery, Death Demon, was written by Milton Lewis and stars Miss Leslie Woods in the role of Regina with Mr. Everett Sloan as Howard. All right, friends. Better turn the steam up and throw another leg on the fire. I mean, log, slipsy. Now, remember, all scoundrels on this program are held up as horrible examples. Usually at the end of a row. Ready now. Then let's get grim. The sound of the sirens howled in his ears like the wail of an avenging demon as the man ran from the gaunt gray building behind the high wall. He ran with all his power and never faltered, even though he felt his heart would burst as he began to hear the dogs behind him picking up his trail. And then, as though he'd summoned it by magic, an automobile stopped for him. The driver, a woman, seeing him approach, saw blood streaming down his hand. Saw him reach into his jacket, pull out a knife. The woman slipped out of the car, fled. The man got in, drove off. Four hours later, the car stopped in the driveway of an isolated house on the outskirts of a New England town. The man got out. Slowly walked to the door, rang the bell. Yes, what do you... Oh. Don't scream. And don't try to close that door. But you can't come in here. I've got to come in. Get away from the door. No. I said get away. A knife. Who's in this house? Why, uh, no one. No one but us. Let go of my hand. Let go, you're hurting me. Sit down. Go on. All right. Who are you? What do you want here? I... I don't know. I'll give you anything, only go away. Please go away. You didn't tell me who you are. Well? I, uh... I'm Regina Barmont. George Barmont's wife? Yes, do you know him? Sit down. All right. You're a very beautiful woman. I didn't think George would marry a woman like you. You do know him? I know him. Did you come to see him? No. Does his sister still live here? Yes. Where is she? Diana drove to town. Why? I don't know. I think you do. I don't. Was it to see some man? I don't know what Diana does. What do you want from me? Perhaps I came here to kill you. To kill me? Who knows? I... I was told to come here. What do you mean, told? You... You wouldn't understand. Where is George? I, uh... I expect him late tonight. Do you know who I am? No. Doesn't Diana ever speak of her husband? Her husband? He... He was in some sanitarium. He... You... You're Howard? Yes. Diana's husband? Yes. Didn't she ever tell you about me? Well, only that you had some sort of breakdown. <laughs> breakdown? Yes, I suppose that's how they would refer to it. But it wasn't a breakdown. It was something far stranger. They still don't believe me. They still don't understand. Understand what? That, that something's happened to me. They don't want to believe that such things could happen. 
That's why they had me locked away in the state prison for the criminally insane. Criminally insane? Didn't Diana tell you that's where I was? She never told us where you were. Did she tell you that I was considered a homicidal maniac? No! Ah, you're frightened. You think that's what I am, too, don't you? Don't you! Put down that knife! Don't you? No, no! No? Then why do you tremble? Why is your face so white? That knife. Oh, my knife, yes. If this knife, so close to your throat right now, if this knife should drive its edge through that creamy white skin, I want you to know it's not I who am killing you. You think you can understand that? Know that there is someone who comes in the night from some ancient grave, someone who comes into my body, controls my hands, my limbs, my heart, my brain. I, I try to fight him, but I can't. And it's he who wants to destroy and murder, and not I. I, I can't fight him alone anymore, and that's why I must see Diana. She'll help me. She always used to help me. What's that? Your wife's car. Diana. Yes, I think so. Stay where you are. Don't get up when she comes in. You'll do exactly as I tell you. Yes. I'm going to stand here on the other side of the door. Don't let her know I'm here. I won't. Quiet now. Hello, Regina. Hello, Diana. I got back later than I thought. George home yet? No, he's coming back on the 11.30. Did you spend the evening here all alone? Not exactly. Oh. Don't run away. That not... Yes. From here, Diana. Oh, and... Yes. He came here like that and threatened me with that knife, Diana. He's going to kill us. He's going to kill both of us. Hey, quiet, Regina. She's afraid of you, Howard. Are you? No. How did you get here? I escaped. But that blood... From my hands. The top of the walls are covered with broken glass. You came back to me. Yes. Do you still love me? Yes. Even now? Even now. From here. Howard. Are you going to plead for me to release you as she did? You won't harm me, Howard. Don't be too certain. Diana, I'm putting the point of this knife at your throat. Do you feel it? One twist of my wrist and it'll be over. Do you want to kill me? I... I don't know yet. Why are you doing this? I must know certain things. What? Will you help me? Be careful how you answer. I'm watching your eyes. If I see the shadow of a doubt, the quiver of a lie... I'll help you. They're after me. Will you hide me? Yes, Howard. The doctors have tried and failed. Only you can cure me. You'll have to live with me. You'll have to help me fight this... this thing inside of me that takes possession of me that wants to kill... that may want to kill you... Will you risk that? I will. I love you, Diana. Will you kiss me? Howard? Here. Here's the knife. I'm tired. Very tired. Yes, there's a room downstairs where you can lie down. But you can't stay long. They'll be looking for you. I'll have to find some place where we can go. Yes, Find a place, Diana. I'll be all right now. I'll be all right as long as I can be with you. Come, Howard. Come this way. Yes, Diana. Lie down. Over there. Yes, I... I'm exhausted. I'll be waiting outside for you when you wake up. Oh, Diana. I thought he was going to kill both of us. No. What are you doing with that phone, Regina? I'm going to call the police. No, you're not. Why not? Diana, you couldn't have meant it when you told him you'd help him. I meant every word of it. But the man's a homicidal man. Perhaps he isn't. Perhaps what he says is true. You mean you're going to live with him? I can't live without him. You know what it's been like with him away. You're as mad as he is. Perhaps. But he's back now. And nothing, Regina. Understand me clearly. Nothing is going to take him away. Well, I'm not going to stay here with him. Yes, you are, Regina. But you're going to stay here while I go to town. 
think I know the place where I can hide him. Oh, no, you're not going to get me in on him. You'll do exactly as I tell you. But, or I'm going to tell my brother a few things that I found out about you. What are you talking about? What do you think? I haven't the faintest idea. I'm talking about Tom Wilson. Roger Steele and this present one Richard Boyd. Why, you... (laughs) I don't mind the slap, Regina. I want you to think of what my brother's money means to you. And what will happen to you if he ever finds out about you. Think carefully, Regina. You're just like your brother. Sneaking around and spying, I could kill him. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry, Diana, dear. I'll help you, of course I will, darling. Yes, Yes, I thought you would. There's only one thing. I don't want to be here alone with him. I'll take care of that right now. Locking my husband in his room. There's only one small high window and he won't be able to get out, so you're perfectly safe. If George returns before I get back, I'd advise you to see to it that he doesn't call the police either. Don't worry, darling. I can handle George. Yes. Yes, you can. Where's Howard's knife? It's over there. Now, I better hurry. Goodbye, Diana. Hello, darling. George! I thought you were catching the 11.30 home. Well, I didn't have to take the train, dear. I ran into Dick Bowers in the city. He gave me a lift right to the door. Where's Diana? She drove to town. Come on, sit down, darling. You must be very tired. Oh, I am. I uh, had quite a little chat with Bowers on the way up. Did you? Yes, he seems to admire you very much, Regina. Too much. Oh. Well, then he should envy you because I'm all yours, George. Regina. You're so beautiful. <laughs> Come here, darling. Uh, George. Oh, Regina. What? Why'd you draw away from me? I didn't. I distinctly noticed you drew Oh, me. darling, darling. Let's not quarrel. Let me just put my arms around you. And we'll forget everything. Everything but you and I. Regina, I'm sure... What's that? Nothing. I thought I heard something in the guest room. Well, you didn't. You didn't hear a thing. There it is again. Regina, do you have some... What? Regina... That knife. What are you doing? Regina, don't. No! My neck! Regina! What are you doing? who will be able to help you, George. Let me out! Help me! Whoever you are! Don't bother, George. He can't hear you. Let me out! Let me out of here! Regina! No use, George. He can't do a thing for you. He is helping me. You? Yes. He's Diana's husband. He's going to be blamed for your murder. It was his night. No. You'll never get away with this. Oh, you never thought I was clever enough to work this out, did you? You and Diana are always so contemptuous of me. Well, we'll see who's the clever one now because you're going to die. Regina, it won't work. I hope you're bright enough to see that. The only thing you can do to save your pretty little neck is to call a doctor before it's too late. Why won't it work? There's a terrible flaw in your whole sick little scheme and you don't know it yet. There is no flaw? What is it? What's wrong with my idea? I won't tell you. Too late now. Where did I make a mistake? Where? You never fooled me for a moment. I knew 
What about Wilson? Steele. Bowers. No, no! Yes. But I loved you. I knew what you were. But I loved you. Tell me where I made my mistake, George. Where? Yeah. So lovely. George! George! Let me out of here! Let me out! Will you keep quiet? I can't let you out. Stop that banging! Stop it! Who's there? It's Diana. Why was the door bolted from the inside? I, uh... I didn't know it was. Regina, I found a place for how I to stay. We'll be safe for a while, and then we... <gasps> George. George! He's dead, Diana. How did it happen? I warned you, but you wouldn't listen to me. Was it my husband? Yes, of course. He killed him. Here's a knife. Where's Holly? In his room. Oh. How did he get out? Well, I, I, I don't know. All I know is that he was suddenly here, and he killed him. Did he, Regina? And how did you get him back into the room? Why, I, I, I calmed him down. Stop it. And I... Stop it. Your whole story is an impossible lie. You couldn't have let him out of the room. I have the key. All right, I didn't. You killed my brother. Yes, I did. And what are you going to do? Call the police? Yes. Well, then you'll have to give up your husband. Now, listen to me, Diana. We can both get what we want out of this. I'll help you and Howard escape. I have money. You can travel, hide... I hope we could have a few years together. But I might even be able to cure him. But you wouldn't let us, Regina. You only saw in his return an opportunity to get your hands on my brother's money. No. I'm sorry, Regina. Then you are going to call the police? Yes. You don't want my offer of help. Think I would trust you. Don't go to that phone, Diana. Regina. That night? Yes, I gave you a chance to live a moment ago. And you threw it away. But you can't... Why not? It will all work out perfectly. All I will have to do is let him out of his room. And I can take the key from you. Yes. I suppose you can. But he's dangerous, Regina. When you let him out of the room, you'll have to face him. I'm not worried about that. You're making a mistake. I can take care of him. Warning you, Regina, when he sees what happened. I've planned everything. When you die, I will call the police. Just as I hear the sirens, I'll let him out. They'll catch him and shoot him like a dog. Why are you telling me this? I just wanted you to know. You're like George. You don't think that I'm smart enough to do this. No. No, Regina. I don't think you are. You're only telling me this because you're not sure of your plan. You've always despised me because I was prettier than you Wait are. a minute. Regina. Regina, I'll do what you want. I'll go away with Howard. Oh, Diana, you're too late. You think I'd trust you now? Regina. Don't scream. Howard, how... I've got my hand over your mouth, Diana. Don't try to scream. Oh, oh, oh my back. Oh. 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 Diana? Diana! Where's Diana? She isn't here. Get me the police department quickly. Yes, hurry, it's an emergency. Hello, police. This is Mrs. Regina Barman on Holly Lane. There is a man here, a maniac. He murdered my husband and his sister. Will you hurry, please? Now, Howard, I'm going to open the door. I have something to tell you. Where's my wife? Just called in from town. She found out that they're looking for you. Listen, do you hear that? The siren. It's the police. You've got to get out of here. But, Diana... She said to meet her at Hemrock Inn. Where's my knife? Here. Go out the back way and run for it. The police are almost here. Uh, how do I get out? That door. You, you won't tell them. Of course not, but hurry. All right. Goodbye. Mrs. Barmer? Yes. He escaped, officer. When? A minute ago. He heard your sirens and ran. I think he went to Hemlock Inn. I heard him tell his wife that he was hiding there. His, his wife? Is that what he did? Yes, he murdered them both. 
He would have killed me if you hadn't come. If you hurry, you can still catch him on the road. Was he armed? Yes, he had a knife. I'm afraid we may have to shoot. Goodbye, Mrs. Drummond. It worked perfectly. They'll find Howard and kill him. There will be no one to deny my story. No one, no one. Who's there? Me. Yes. How did you... I came in the back way. Help! Police! Help! Help! They can't hear you. They can't hear you. They drove off looking for me. Now, get away from that door. Let go of me! Get away, I said. Oh! Oh. The little scheme nearly worked. I would have been dead by now. No. No, I didn't want anything to happen to you. I hid in the shrubs. I heard what you told that policeman. Is that how you found out? No, I found blood on the knife. And then I looked in the window. Oh, it isn't over yet. Yes, it's over. Diana dead. Why did you do it? Well, don't you see? She was going to call the police and turn you over to them. She was helping me. Why did you do it? Put down that knife, Howard. I just want to know why. What harm did we ever do you? We just wanted a little time with each other. She could have helped me so much. Now there's no one to help me. What made you do this? Howard, listen. Listen, you must kill me. Look, we can both escape. You and I. Isn't that a good idea, Howard? You and I. If you don't kill me, Howard, isn't that a good idea? What are you trying to tell me? Oh, don't you see? It can be just as you wanted it, even better. I'll take Diana's place. I'll go with you anywhere. I'll do anything you say. Anything. I'll make you well, Howard. And I'm much prettier than Diana ever was. Oh, can't you see that, Howard? No. Put the knife down. I know what he wants me to do now. Yes. Don't. No, Howard, don't. Now, don't. Don't. Ah! Oh, you fool. We could have both gotten away with it. If you'd only listen to me. Diana. Diana, we may be together soon. I hear the sirens. They're coming back to get me. He, he made me do it, Diana. You, you understand that? He, he forced me to. Oh. oh, they're here, Diana. I'm going to let them in. Howard, drop that knife or I'll shoot. There. That's better. So you got her, too, huh? I didn't kill her. He made me. Who made you? Someone. Someone who comes in the night. From some ancient grave. Someone who comes into my body, controls my hands, my limbs, my brain. And at last I know why he made me do it. He wanted me to kill someone who was evil. Evil. That's why he made me kill her. You see? You see? Yeah. Hold your hands out. There. You won't do any more harm now. Come on. No, one moment. Goodbye, Diana. Goodbye. I guess that taught Regina a valuable lesson she'll be able to use next time she's alive. And next time a homicidal maniac comes calling, maybe she'll do what I do. Just close my eyes and disappear for a while. (laughs) Which brings us to the moral of tonight's nightmare. Taken from the double talk of Gorham Gadula, Spanish bullfrog, who says... When you meet a murderer, don't stop dead. Why make it easy for him? <laughs> Inner Sanctum is heard each week in the United States over CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System, and has been rebroadcast for servicemen and women overseas through the facilities of the United States Armed Forces Radio Service, the voice of information and education. Thank you.
Thank you.